Hello, my name is Amy Maynard, and just a little bit more about myself. I am a sophomore at Auburn University, and I am in the College of Elementary Education. And today I'm going to be discussing the topic of fluid and crystallized intelligence, as it is found in the text titled Human Development, a Cultural Approach, by Jeffrey Jensen Arnett. First, let's talk about the question of whether or not intelligence declines during middle adulthood. In our textbook, Human Development, A Cultural Approach, it states that, for the most part, intelligence rises. However, the answer does, does depend on what type of intelligence is being considered. Scholars have identified two general types of intelligence. These are fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence. The definition of fluid intelligence, according to Chegg.com, is the general ability to think abstractly, to reason, to identify patterns, and solve problems and discern relationships. According to Study.com, the definition of crystallized intelligence is the ability to use learned knowledge and experience. This slide here shows a little bit more in-depth explanation of these two definitions. So under fluid intelligence, it says inherited ability to reason and think. Um, it's dependent on the state of the brain and the nervous system. It's minimal dependence on school learning or acculturation. And it involves inductive reasoning or problem solving. And it is strongly based on nature, so not learned. Um, and for crystallized intelligence, it says accumulated knowledge and information acquired over a lifetime, application of skills and knowledge to problem solving. It's highly education dependent. It includes verbal and general knowledge, and it's based off of nurture or what is learned over time. So thinking back to what was said in the textbook, Human Development and Cultural Approach, about some intelligence rising and some declining when we are in our middle ages. The next question we are going to address is, which type of intelligence rises and which does not? This question can be answered on an article found on, on boundless.com, which states that crystallized intelligence tends to hold steady as we age. In fact, it may even improve. An example of this is that adults tend to do better on intelligence tests during their 30s to 50s because, as we discussed, crystallized intelligence is the ability to use learned knowledge and experience. Boundless.com also talks about fluid intelligence, stating that it is more dependent on basic information processing skills and starts to decline e even prior to middle age adulthood. This is shown at this age because cognitive processing speed slows down, as well as the ability to solve problems and divide attention will slow down. This diagram here shows a better representation of how these two types of intelligence progress throughout our life. So as you can see, they pretty much progress at the same rate from infancy to early adulthood. But at that point, um, fluid intelligence takes a turn and starts to decrease, whereas crystallized intelligence continues to get better as we age, even into late adulthood. Thank you for watching.